All right, everybody, welcome back. Today, we have a Heath kit, low voltage power supply, model IP27. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, open it up, take a look at the internals. And then from there, uh, if everything's looking good, we may go ahead and uh, power it up and see what we get for uh, output voltage on it. So, I've already removed the screws. There are four screws for the top, four screws for the bottom. So we can go ahead and remove that cover panel. Uh, normally, these cover panels are covered in a uh, really nasty, lumpy uh, type of paint, and the previous owner uh, removed it all on this one. So, inside, on the top, uh, we have our uh, wafer switches, meter movement, uh, pass transistors, capacitor, transformer, and then on the bottom side, we have uh, our Barrier strips, more capacitors, transformer, um, wiring for the uh, binding post on the output, uh, so on and so forth. As you can see, there's a lot of carbon comp resistors, uh, old looking capacitors, but I've told that this, uh, I'm told that this unit has been rebuilt and that he just used uh, new old stock capacitors for more of a, a restoration than a rebuild. I'll probably end up recapping this thing, but uh, for now, We'll just start off with it the way it is. So, that's that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set for low current range. We're set off. We're set to reset standby at mid-range on our current controls, or uh, rather, um, fine adjustment controls for voltage. So, what we'll do, we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, power cord here. All right. So, let's see here. Switch to on in the low range. We do have an indicator lamp. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring down the leads for my fluke meter. And we'll put uh, positive and positive, negative on negative. I must already be reading something. A couple of hundred millivolts. All right, let's see here. I'm going to adjust the camera up just a little bit so that uh, you can see the meter here. There we go. So, we're going to go ahead and set for 10 to 15 volt range. We're in the middle, low current range. We'll go to DC on. We have meter movement. And we've got 14.19 volts somewhere in that area. Let's see if we can adjust that. We can. 13.8-ish, and the fine control does work. Power supply drifts a little bit. It may just be that it's temperature dependent, and it'll get more stable as it warms up, or it just doesn't have that much stability in the first place. All right, and we do have good meter movement on it. So it looks like uh, this is a working power supply. So we'll go ahead and switch back to DC off, back to AC off, and we'll unplug. Uh, what I'll do, uh, I'll see if I can dig up some documentation on this and uh, put it in the uh, details below, put the link down there. Um, if not, then it, it won't be there. Uh, but I'll say either way. So I appreciate uh, you viewing this video. If you have any questions, or comments, let me know in the link below, or in the uh, comments below. And uh, if you've liked this video, go ahead and hit like. And uh, don't forget to uh, share and subscribe. I hope everybody has a great day, and uh, we'll definitely see you soon.